Some central Phoenix neighborhoods are seeing more and more beds, couches, and unwanted furniture littering communities. Stanley Roberts went into alleys and behind businesses to show us how big of an issue illegal dumping has become. I seen like people driving in trucks, they stop, and then next thing you know, it just gets bigger. And then like they do it late at night or like early in the morning time. And you just see them stop and then like they wait and no one is watching and they just, next thing you know, you see a couch there. If you look around many parts of Phoenix, like in some of the alleys, you might roll across scenes like this. Garbage and debris dumped the entire length of the alley. Near the intersection of 12th Street and Southern, you might see scenes like this. Almost a whole city block covered in trash and debris, including furniture. One resident who lives across the street from the pile says, as soon as it gets cleaned up, the very next week, more dumping happens. Word on the street is the city of Phoenix Public Works could be setting up cameras in this area to catch whoever is dumping this trash. There is a clue to spotting illegal dumping besides a pile. If you see a sign reading no dumping, chances are it's because there's already a problem. Now it's easy to confuse illegal dumping with bulk cleanup piles, which by the way is offered to homeowners every three months. Here are the clues to determine if it's bulk pickup or a case of illegal dumping. Items illegally dumped tend to happen in places near dumpsters, like this couch and love seat near 3rd Indian School. In fact, it started off as just a futon. You see, illegal dumping attracts more illegal dumping. Near 79th Avenue in Indian School, yet another dumpster with stuff dumped by it. Sometimes you can find items dumped outside of vacant buildings, like this couch and yet another love seat I found on 7th Avenue. Maybe it's for lease. No matter how you slice it, illegal dumping is bad for the neighborhood. And if left for a long time, it will attract more than just couches. It could attract bugs and rats. You probably don't know this, but the fine for illegal dumping in Arizona can be as high as $15,000. One more thing to note. People often use bulk pickup days to dump their debris onto unsuspecting homeowners in the middle of the night. In Phoenix, Stanley Roberts for Arizona's Family. If you have something you'd like Stanley to check out, send him a message at caughtmisbehaving at azfamily.com or you can connect with Stanley on Facebook and Twitter.